what do you purchase at a gas station before you kill someone? <laughs> The TCS Network brings to you the Charity Strike. And now, here are the boys that put the big D back into douchebag. Trigger Mike and Rebound. Big D that, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Starting off good. <laughs> That's right. This is the Charity Strike. We're done. It'll be the Charity Stroke. Insert midlife lap here. <laughs> I'm Gregory Rebound Jones, sitting over there, looking gayer than ever, and even worse, more sober than ever. That's Trick and Mike, everybody. Welcome to Monday, Mike Raw! That's my Hunter slash Vince mix-up. It's, it's the little, mashup. A little more Vince I'll, I'll bring, Hunter. I'll bring more Vince later. I mean, that was more Vince It was Hunter, more Vince. Is what I'm saying. But it wasn't intense Vince. No. The usual intense. And, and Vince is intense. That's hard to say. It is. It's really hard to say. I can't believe I got through it. Yeah, I can't believe you got Without through it. Without drinking either. first. Please. If that's all it takes, <laughs> right. get this man a beer. Give me so, a beer. Start saying Vince intense. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we got lots of good stuff for you. Uh, quick announcement. We're now on the Tune In Radio app. If you guys have Tune In, we're fucking on it because we're fucking awesome. We're we famous. We're, we're, we're goddamn famous. way famous. I think we're literally on any podcast app ever now. Yeah, and I don't know why we promote ourselves, but, you know, I there's, guess someone's got to do it. There's no need, but just in case there was, uh, yeah. get us on TuneIn as well as the old stuff, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, thecherrystrike.com, all of that good shit still readily available. Uh, before we talk about big, round, hard balls, let's introduce uh, our favorite recurring guest on the show, like him way more than midlife. <laughs> Um, and slightly more than Phil, who's a nice guy, but uh, <laughs> this guy brings He's beer. He's in Ohio. Yeah, this guy brings beer. Yeah, uh-huh. you know what it is. Perfect yellow, perfect yellow, perfect yellow, perfect yellow. Yeah, uh-huh. you know what it is. Orange and purple, orange and purple, purple. perfect yellow, perfect yellow. Yeah, uh-huh. you know what it is. The last Laker fan, aka Dan. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello, what's Dan. happening? Yeah. Not much. Not only not only are you readily available and you bring us a uh, beer from time to time, but also we just feel bad for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, you show up wearing your Laker hat, your <laughs> Laker shirt, your Kobe kicks. And what was it you did last night? Went to the Laker game on what? Oh, party bus. Yeah, that's right. Say, then he cried himself to sleep. <laughs> he had a party before going to a Laker. That's game. right. Yeah, because there's no party at a Laker game <laughs> no, yeah. unless you're there for the other team. Exactly. Uh, are tickets still expensive? Oh yeah, they were still oh, ridiculous. God. Like I feel. I haven't gone to a basketball game this year, which is surprising. But even mm-hmm. last year, Lakers sucked last year. Mm-hmm. Clippers were good last year. It's still cheaper to go to a Clipper game. It still is. And I went to a couple. It's like half the price. That's yeah, ridiculous. It's crazy. And they're yeah. so much better. It's ridiculous. Yeah. They're actually fun and to they, watch because they do this thing called winning. And they have a good <laughs> owner now, too. Crazy I owner. I like the last guy better. Yeah. <laughs> He's crazy, but he's nice. I'm not a racist. <laughs> yeah. I don't right. like. I don't like the new guy. He's all about Microsoft. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Fuck Microsoft. Fuck Microsoft. Right. Indeed. All right. Uh, let's uh, speaking of Clippers and, and Lakers, let's talk a little ball action. Love basketball. You love basketball. To say yeah. Yeah. I love basketball. You love basketball. Uh, Manny in the chat room wants to know where her shitty Triple H is. Uh, it sounds like Triple H just pulled out of somebody's ass. <laughs> oh. I'll give you the the shitty Triple H. I never pull out. I tear quads before I pull out. <laughs> Great story. Uh, <laughs> speaking of pulling out, Brian Shaw has been pulled out of the oh, yeah. the Nuggets rotation as their coach. Fired B. Shaw. I think well, we when you follow George Carlin, you're that bad. Right. You're going to get fired. Yeah. I, I kind of wonder, like, I mean, it was large in this. You know, it was pretty much the same team he had that George Carl had. Especially just, at first. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, you nothing. know. Yeah. It just fell apart. Like, George Carl did a great job. I mean, they, they already lost Mello and some of the other guys. Yeah. George Carl still did a great job of putting these nobodies uh, into Did, the win category. Didn't they still make the playoffs that same season, too? Like, they were eighth seed yep. or something like that? Yeah. They shouldn't have been there anywhere near there. No. Yeah. I think at a point in time, too, with the same team, I think they had won the division or something. Mm-hmm. Like, they were doing really well. Yeah, like, they were good. Surprisingly Post well. Mello. When JaVale McGee was still good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, now they, they don't have there. him anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they got rid of him last week. The rest of his brain did, fell out of his ear. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, He's got a small brain is what I'm getting at. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, so B. Shaw now on the market looking for a job. I do we see this guy head coach anytime soon, or is he going to be picked up as an assistant? He's an assistant, yeah, assistant all the way. Yeah. yeah. He's going to have to do that. You know, he, he complained a lot in Denver about the team not showing him respect. It's 
kind of a respect earned situation. I know, I know that the new kids are punks, <laughs> but uh, you gotta kind of earn that respect. And I, th- I think had he won a few, it might might have been different. Who's he think he is, Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, Steve Kerr is doing something with Golden State that's unprecedented right now. And what, getting Steph Curry the ball? <laughs> right. And did he have to? Well, earn res- did he have to earn respect to be the best coach? Steph in the league Curry right now? earned it for him. Right, but. Brian Shaw could have just done something. It makes me wonder how good a coach team. Mark Jackson and Steve Kerr really are. Right. Like, maybe they could get like Kevin Harlan out of the booth to coach the Three Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean, the team runs itself. Why not Brian Shaw go back to the Lakers as an assistant? Him and Byron will get along. I'm sure. I would like that. Yeah. He was a great assistant. He's a great assistant. Because he's, he's a good in-between. He knows the triangle. He knows how to be nice to the players, and sometimes that's not a good head coach. Uh. There's that. <laughs> uh, Clippers sign Nate Robinson. To a ten-day contract, <laughs> man, you, know, you got to try him out, man. I, no, Kenya he, Martin made a living on those ten-day contracts. Don't, still don't knock it till you try it. You don't got to try him out. He's played for Doc Rivers before, <laughs> right? Those tattoos hey, don't pay for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, you're available, right? <laughs> It'd be a lot cheaper for Nate to get like sleeve and whole body tattoos because he's only like what four foot three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Nate, I'm all out of full season contracts, but I got a ten-day one right here. You, you down? <laughs> oh wait, I guess Nate doesn't talk like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even gonna try, huh? Yo. You're like, I'm just gonna get racist with the yo d- voiceover. Yo, right dog, now. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I am down. Ha ha. I'm short, but I'll sign it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Just give me a booster seat. <laughs> 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 Did you guys see this bullshit with? Uh, I'm gonna forget his name now. Dante Jones getting, oh, yeah. getting fined. Well, I watched it with you. Right. I didn't see it. I heard about it. Got the video up on the twat box right now. Dante Jones was walking by. Uh, what's his name? Green. Uh, from Sacramento the other night. Mm. Draymond. Golden State. Golden State. Yeah, Draymond Green. Raymond with a D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have remembered it that way. <laughs> uh, he, he was doing the, the after-game interview, and uh, he just bumped him, and Green kind of like looked at him like, what the fuck just happened? Well, at first he gave a look like, oh, it's nothing, and then you saw who it was. He's like, oh, you yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> and they fucking uh, they suspended him and fined him $10,000. <laughs> because he gave him that look. I bet if he didn't... Like care no, no, about no, it not at Green. All? No, I know. I was oh, saying, okay. If Green didn't turn around and like look at him, like oh you yeah. motherfucker, like, if he didn't look wildly offended, right. it wouldn't I mean, have been it a problem. Was a, it was a brush by. You guys can see the video up on our fa- on our uh, Twitter. Excuse me, at the Charity Strick. No e at the end. It's ridiculous. Uh, he should have had more camera presence though, and realized he was in the shot. He should have like done it from behind the shot. Dante Jones is a dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, that guy's like constantly like you know walking under people and like hurting. Like you remember in the when in the playoffs they're playing against Kobe and mm-hmm. like he just like blatantly like fouled him like a couple. <laughs> Times, like, yeah, he's a bastard. Yeah. He's like Matt Barnes, but not effective. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. <laughs> but it doesn't get quite all the way under your skin. His, right. Yeah, just his, an asshole. His one talent is being a dirtbag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, that's half the Clippers. Um, <laughs> what else? LeBron tied the Cavs' career assist record against the Suns. Yeah. They were oh, they were raping the Suns for a long time. Suns made a run in the fourth quarter, but it was bad. It was like a 32-point lead at oh, one point. Man. They only lost by 10, though. Oh, okay. They made a run. Right. But, Not uh, so bad. Seriously, to tie Mark, he goes away for three, four years, comes back, and he ties Mark Price, who was in Cleveland for a long time. That's and he was, in a, he was a point guard. That's yeah. Ronnie's brother, right? Yeah, yeah, Ronnie Price's brother. <laughs> 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 and then, they're the same color. <laughs> they, they don't really exactly have such a very uh, colorful history either. I mean, you know, it's like, didn't he, like, set, like, the points, like, in his first year? Or <laughs> yeah, right. pretty close to his first year. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. my God, you got more points than... I don't know who the fuck Craig Elo, <laughs> uh, Brad Doherty, maybe yeah. who does NASCAR. Yeah, lots probably of Brad Doherty. Yeah. Brad Doherty, yeah. the guy who's a NASCAR aficionado. You guys don't know this. Who? He Brad Doherty. He's you a, know the center for yeah. the black tall center. Yeah. For Seven the foot guy. He he's does a NASCAR race, announcing. NASCAR? Yes. No, he doesn't. Yes. Not. The first, first time I saw because I go to my dad's house every once in a while on Sundays and he's watching racing and I look over I'm like. Brad fucking Doherty's doing NASCAR. What the hell is going make on? Any sense? They're letting like, the black guy in NASCAR. He does have a, a an accent though, like a southern <laughs> accent. So I'm like, oh, I, I guess he just was bred for it. That's uh, that's Mike's dad's doorbell, by the way. <laughs> 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 going to watch some NASCAR. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> Suey. Uh, speaking of LeBron, former teammate Ray Allen. Not going to play this season. Not that he has already. I know, right? This isn't really breaking news. Uh, he hasn't played thus far, and he says uh, he's definitely not going to play the rest of the season. He kind of stopped short at saying he retired. He said he'll reevaluate during the summer to see if he'll play next year. I love how it's a story. 
They probably just called him, hey, Ray, you going to play? No. <laughs> no. Have I played? Right. No, I'm not going to play. Hey, Ray Allen is not going to play this season. He said it to us. He's going to reevaluate it in the summer. It's official. <laughs> he's a gun for hire. Like, I mean, yeah. he's just, just going to show up. He should just show up in the playoffs. Be like, hey, like, take threes. Me. Yeah, whatever the, the, the break off is for hiring people for the playoffs. Yeah. Like the day before that, someone should just pick him up. Like, hey, we need some threes. Yeah. You don't have to run up and down the court. Like at the end of the game, the last 20 <laughs> seconds, we're going to just drop you in the corner. Yeah. And you can just fucking stand there. If yeah. We just need a crazy shot, Ray. We're putting you in. All right. Right. <laughs> you or D fish. Yeah. Uh, the Kings hired uh, our main man, Vladi Divots, <laughs> as their VP of basketball and franchise operations. Oh, my gosh. I'll show these sons of bitches how to flop. That guy used to walk <laughs> around smoking cigarettes. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if he was around during these new flopping rules, he probably would be ejected at this point in the season, right? He'd he would have been for the kicked season. out of basketball. Yeah. <laughs> They'd send him back to checklist or wherever. He's the reason why all this happened. Yeah. He's him and Eldon the... Campbell. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, He's literally the biggest bitch ever in the NBA. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many times I said that at the top of my lungs while you know, Shaq was trying to dunk on him. Because the and Kings were such a like fucking like horrible team Just to play a against shitty every team. year. Yeah. For and the Lakers Vlade. played them every year in the playoffs. Yeah. Mike Bibby four didn't, times didn't, in the what, regular season. It like, did you split it or did you guys won three to one? Right, three series to one, I think. And oh, then oh no, I, over the over the years when they had Weber Divac. Oh no, we beat them all the time. Every time I every thought time. one year was not Mike you. Bibby on that team too? Yeah, Bibby yeah. was there no. when Jesus. he could play. <laughs> that got, didn't last long. He was terrible. Mini me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole team was just downright ugly. Yeah, it was just a bunch of fucking circus freaks yeah, put like, together. Yeah, uh, Paige Stoyakovich, the human fly trap. <laughs> Never closes his damn mouth. It's always <laughs> open, dude. It's disgusting. <laughs> that guy was like, a, what am I doing here? He's an <laughs> ugly motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, not that I was looking at that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so fucking gay. <laughs> um, Syracuse and coach uh, Jim Bohemian Rhapsody. That's his name, right? <laughs> okay, fine. Scaramouche. Scaramouche. <laughs> Will you do the you got suspended? Um, Jim Boheim. They got uh, They got busted. <laughs> Because of all the shit that's been going on over the last twelve years. Here's the first first problem. NC not NC Something excuse me, that Syracuse every coach does. Yeah. yeah. Fucks around with the rules, right. hides bad grades, all that shit. Duh. Problem number one, uh the Syracuse reported themselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> to the NCAA. <laughs> right, right. We're gonna do the investigation. Right. We also did cocaine and alcohol again. Oh my where, god. Uh, we're gonna report ourselves. Oh wait, that's not it. <laughs> um so they are going to take away twelve scholarships. <clears throat> Ordered that 108 wins be vacated as a result of a multi-year investigation Whoa. into the athletic programs. Um, how does that help anybody? We're taking away 108 of your wins. Oh, you're giving like, some sort of championship back to somebody else who would have had another? Nope. Okay. If you're Joe Paterno, I mean, you hide a rape, then you get those wins back eventually. Maybe maybe Jim Beheim with this milder problem may eventually get those wins back but it doesn't make any sense either like you said like i mean who isn't doing that right shit? it's ridiculous They're all trying to find an edge it's like taking steroids in sports You're yeah. just trying to find an edge to be the best yeah i already assume when they're playing basketball they're not there to be doctors you know no. what i mean like <laughs> and take... how bad is it to be a coach in college sports you have to recruit all the fucking time it's like that's the worst. Never They're ending. going after little Bron- little Bron right jiggling eighteen year old balls Bron. all the time. Like whoa, <laughs> oh. whoa. I mean, if they want to. You. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't say that's illegal, right? Not yet. No, you can't give them money, but you can jiggle their balls. Right, as long right. as you didn't pay them to jiggle. Right, their balls. as long as they're over seventeen. I wasn't aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to be a coach? Yeah, yeah. So the whole thing that's is where the uh, action's at. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know it. <laughs> if you want to get there before the hair, it is where it's at. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Now you've just gone too far. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was too far. <laughs> uh, anyways, and Southern and Texas Southern women's basketball games end in a brawl. In, end in a, a tie because uh, they disqualified both teams. Well, I, I'd brawl. get in a brawl if I was down south like that, too. Oh, fuck yeah. My, co- my college seems so southern, we call ourselves southern. Right. <laughs> well, it's southern and Texas southern. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's Texas, <laughs> su- Texas southern, and then the other college who was uh, just too uncreative to come up with another name. Right. Yeah. Right. They just oh, call it God. almost Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> 
border riding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So the the game ended in a DQ, double DQ, WWE style. <laughs> we have we do have the video on our Twitter at the Charity Strick. I'll tweet it again tomorrow for you guys. The ref count everyone out or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't decide who we should have lose. <laughs> Ring the bell. Ring the bell. That's right. Uh, you guys need to buy some bells. This makes no sense. You should go to Amazon <laughs> <laughs> for your bikes. Yeah. Ding, ding. See, look at you. Uh-huh. Look at you saving that. <laughs> Help you out. Oh, God. Have a drink. Uh, anyways, <laughs> if you're going to shop at Amazon, which we all know you do.